G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do another black and white pour for you. I uh, thought I'd just, if you missed the last one, I thought I'd just show you how I do my sides. Put my tape on, so I'm going to go around here. I've done that one, I'll just show you how to do this one real quick. So I've just got masking tape. And I'm going to just turn it over by about a third. So the bottom third has been turned over. It's a bit tricky, but just push it in like that all the way along so it doesn't curl too much. Oops, some in the shadow, aren't I? That's it. So you've got a so now you've got half that's not sticky and then the other half that is sticky. So this sticky side obviously is going to go on the side of your canvas. And that's it there, just push it down, make sure it's on nice and firmly so it doesn't come off mid pour and there you go, you've got a nice little paint catcher. Okay, now the other thing I wanted to show you, if you saw my last pour, I'm going to put my gloves on because I'm going to go and pick it up, it's just down there on the floor in front of the window. That's how I photograph my paws. Everyone says, how do you photograph them? They're nothing special. It's just on the floor in front of the window, getting some natural light coming in, and I just hover over it with my camera. That's it. Okay. All right, so I did this one this morning. Uh, five ring paw in Floetrol. That was two parts Floetrol, one part paint. I wanted a black and white painting, I've kind of got a grey painting, so I'm changing it up a little bit because I want a black and white painting. Not that this isn't beautiful, it is beautiful, I love it, I just wanted black and white, so I'm going to go again and try for black and white. Put him back down there, just wipe my fingers off because he's still wet. Right, so um, I'm going with the flow troll again. And I did these two earlier, just little experiments. Going with the flow troll again, so heavy. I just opened a new bottle. That's my flow troll. You can use Owa troll if you can't find flow troll. Um, so I, the one I just showed you before that I popped back on the floor, that was three to one flow troll. Uh, sorry, two to one flow troll. Two to one flow troll. This is one to one flow troll so equal amounts flow troll to paint so this one here i layered my colors white bit of black bit of white bit of black probably three layers poured it out it's maybe a little bit better than the one i showed you just earlier you can still you can see the lines of the black and the white but it's still gray so then i went to this one here and I must credit a lovely lady for this idea. I don't know whether she was the original, but I think a few people have done it. Where you pour, oh, I'll tell you her name, Michelle McEart. Hi, Michelle. It's better say hi to her, hey. Um, so what she did was she poured her black and her white in together into the cup so that she had a definite ring or definite line so this is this is how I did this one here I've got white on one side black on the other so I poured them in like that and then I, I poured like that and as you can see I get a much better definite black and white so that's what I'm going to do on this big one um, so I'm not sure where the original idea came of pouring two colors in but if you know let me know I'm, I'm happy to um, give that person a shout out. I love um, helping other artists and I enjoy getting inspiration from other artists. You see something and you think, oh, I want to try that. So go for it. I don't mind at all. This is what we're all here for, to share and enjoy this art. Okay, so let's do it. I've got two big jugs, a black and a white. So in each one here, I have got 300 grams of Floetrol, 300 grams of paint, 
300 flow troll, 300 paint, so that's 600 each. And then I've got some extras. I did 150 flow troll, 150 paint of each of those because I don't think I'll have enough in my jugs. So there we go. It is just black and white. My global impasto black and white. So nothing special, no silicone oil, just flow troll and paint. So this is a 15 inch by 30 inch canvas. It's a 40 centimeter by 80 centimeter. I've got my little spatula there ready to go to help me out with the edges if I need. I've got my five paper cups ready to go. One, two, three, four, five. Right, um, I better push that out of the way. Move my little sample cards as well. All right, let's do this. Put the first one there. And I just thought it would be easier um, pouring with a jug. So I've used my little, my little jugs here. All right, let's do this. Make sure that the paint's getting to the edge equally because they are slightly different jugs. And in we go. This paint's really thick. Not sure how much I'm going to need. I'm just going to do half a cup. Mm, no, I better do more. I'm going to need five cups. Probably going to need about 200 grams per cup. We'll keep going. Do about three quarters. Whoops, I'm making a mess. Three quarters of a cup to start with. And then um, I can judge by this one and then change it accordingly for the next cup, eh? Right, so there's my join and I've got a timber piece that runs through the centre there. So that'll be my halfway mark there. And then I want to put another one about there. So roughly about those little marks there. So I'm going to pinch this where the two colours join. And here we go. Let's do it. So the first little bit is always a little bit wobbly. I'm going to just walk around a little bit, if I can, just to get a bit of a different pattern. Otherwise, I'm going to get all black on one side, all white on the other. So if I sort of walk around a little bit, if I can, maybe I can just change that up. How's that? That's kind of changing the pattern around a little bit, isn't it? Just so that it's not all black on one side and all white on the other. Right, first one, done. Okay, I think that's enough paint. Because um, you don't really want them to be touching too much at this stage, so I'll do that again, three quarters of a cup of paint. It should be okay. Now I did it this way last time, so I'll do the same. I'll do the two edges with the black in my right hand and then I'll swap them over and have the black in my left hand. Right, bring the paint to the edge again. Off we go. This is so much fun, I'm enjoying this. I'm glad to see I've got nice defined rings. Happy about that. And the jugs are easy with the handles. Makes it so much easier. Is that about the right amount? I don't know. All right, let's pinch it. I'll do all five and then I'll fill in the rest of the paint 
um, on my edges and then if I've still got paint I can always continue the circles in the middle but let's see how I go using all this first now this one needs to be kind of on the side here rather than here because when it stretches you want it to be touching the side otherwise you'll miss your corners I make nice quite big circles because I want my white and black lines to be defined so if my little rings are too small oh look at that if my little rings are too small then I don't get my defined black and white colors if you know what I mean didn't explain it very well did I here we go so that's just helping me walking around like this a little bit and moving my cup around it's just helping the paint to sort of spread a little bit more evenly so I don't have all black on one side all white on the other not exactly in the middle am I I'm halfway up the top of the canvas I'm way up here I should be down here never mind right two down let's go again that one was a little bit smaller maybe I didn't put quite enough paint in feel free to fast forward if you don't want to watch this might not have had three clips dripping down the side might not have had three quarters of a cup there might have only had more like half put a little bit more in this one spilling off the side Okay, pinch it again and off we go into that spot there. Now because I'm on the side of the table, I'm actually going to be able to walk around the table and get up here so I can have some white at the top. And then walk back again to bring the white around to the bottom. And around again. Trying to keep my centre in the centre as I'm walking around. so happy this isn't going grey normally it would just be a very muddy grey at this point okay so done now I'm going to swap my hands around and do the white in my right hand and the black in my left hand just to see if it's any difference off we go I think the white paint might be a touch thicker than the black paint. White does tend to be thicker than black for some reason. There we go. Now probably not going to make too much difference because I have been walking around. Let's pinch that in the edge there where those two colours join. And let's go in the middle. starts off a little bit wobblier until I can get into get a bit closer into the canvas let's walk around a little bit can't really get any closer because the tables in the way let's come around this way maybe I can go that way Slowing down now. So as the paint
paint gets to the end of the cup, slow your circles down and catch your drip. Right, one more. Has made a bit of a difference. See there's black there and white here. Now I've got the opposite, black there and white there. So has made a bit of a difference. I'm going to put a little bit more paint into my jugs. Okay. Off we go again. Just move the seam. Right, here we go, last ring. Beautiful. Got that. Okay, last one. Pinch that there. Now my little dot's moved over a little bit. I think this one's moved, so I'm going to try and go a little bit closer to that and just push this edge one over a bit. And let's go for a walk around the table. Whoops. When I go for a walk, it kind of, I lose it. A little bit wobbly when I go around. And back again, <laughs> round I go, round and round. Nearly there. Like watching paint dry, isn't it? Some people are interested in the whole thing, others aren't. I'll just fast forward. Okay, done! Yay! Rightio! Now, the other thing I need to do is I need to use up all my leftover paint. So, what Michelle did was where the black was on the edge. That's where she put some black paint so that when your rings stretch out, if you don't end up going right over to the bottom of the canvas, it really doesn't matter because um, you've got your paint there and it still looks attractive. So I'm just going to, to do that. I'm going to make sure I've got enough paint first before I um, use it up, use all of it up. So I'll make sure that I've spread out what I want to spread out and then I can add to it. It's really thick this paint. Much thicker than I would normally use but as I said I didn't want my black and white to mix too much and go grey so the thicker your paint the less risk you have of it um, blending too much should bring that back into frame, shouldn't I? This one's got black on it as well, so I might just take that black right across. Don't think it will matter really. See how much black I've got left. I've still got some more paint in my cups that I made up, my extra paint that I made up. So just spreading that out with my little stick. So I think that'll look nice where the, the black here meets the black there.
And we'll make sure that we go up into the edges there because they always get missed, don't they? Little ring paws. Okay, let's finish off this paint from the jug. I think my, I've got more paint up that half of the canvas for sure. I don't know why. I didn't centre it very well, did I? Never mind. I was going to put some colour in between, but as the circles are touching already, I don't need to do that. All right, let's put some white here. You can see how thick that is, can't you? It's just sort of sitting there, not doing much at all. Just go and kiss up there against that. I certainly am getting a black and white painting, aren't I? Which is exactly what I wanted. So this colour on the sides here, this, this will pretty much all get poured off. Or a little bit will, not, I mean, not all of it. I don't mind if there's some colour left. Wait and see what happens. Spread this white out. Because this will have more white here and then that'll have more black over the, on that side. So it'll kind of balance it out without being too matchy matchy, black, white, black, white. So I'm having a good day today, pouring. Got the air conditioner on because it's a really hot, muggy day today. Very steamy because it's been raining. So the humidity is up here in, in Queensland. It is the wet season, so can't complain, I guess. It's to be expected. All right. Now, I hope I've got enough black. So I need some for here. And then I need more for at the top and I can feel that the black is a little bit thinner than the white it's just flowing that little bit easier now I'm going to turn this canvas around oh my goodness it's heavy and I can do this side um, what am I needing I'm going to have to do white there black there white there need to fill this whole area in with paint you can probably leave the edges but I've made it up so I might as well use it I think after doing two black and white pores in one day I'm going to be black and whited out so I'm not going to want to do another one but how good would it be if I did black and white and then one other color maybe blue that way I'd get different shades of, of blues that'd look nice wouldn't it because I do like my blues. And maybe I could pour them instead of half. I don't know how I would do it, but try and pour three colours into the cup at once. That would be a bit of a challenge, but I think that would be nice. And then I could have black, white and, and blue. I'd have to have someone helping me. We could all pour at once, three jugs at once. Do you reckon that would look nice? I'm just going to put a touch of water in this white, what I've got left over here. Just a touch. It seems to have thickened up as it's been sitting there anyway. And it is a little bit thicker than the black to begin with. Right. Nearly there. Sorry if you're bored. And make a cuppa. Come back. And <laughs> watch the end. Oh, I might have to.
too much paint here. Get back in there. Oh, I've made a mistake. I was supposed to do black there. Get back in there. I was supposed to do black. I got carried away. All right. Just wipe some of that white off. Never know. Let's push that white over. Get over on your own side, white. Okay. There we go. I won't bother with the edges now. I can do that off camera later on. Right, let's get to the exciting part, hey? The tilting and see how this goes. So as I said at the beginning of the video, I don't mind if all of this doesn't get to the bottom. I don't mind because, you know, it'll match up with the colour, the contrasting colour there. Hopefully they'll go together. This one's a bit slow. Come on, off you go. It's been sitting there the longest, hey? Oh, I don't really want to go side to side. But see how the the circles miss the corners there, but um, it'll be all right. It's got the it's got the black there. Now you've gone over already. You're in a hurry, aren't you? You've just gone for it. Okay, let's have a look. Um, I said I didn't really want all my white to be lost, and on this side too, I don't want all the black to be lost. So, I wonder if we can kind of, no, that's not working. I'll have to figure out what to do with that later. touch that up later. Um, I'm going to turn it round and oh my goodness do the other side and then see what it looks like whether or not I have to want to tilt back again. I don't have to worry about it getting muddy because you know I don't have the the grey happening which is fantastic. Wish you guys could answer me. Do you like how it's got the white there and the white there and then it's got the black there? Or does everything have to come over? I don't know. I'm not in love with this here. I don't know if I can get rid of that. try. There we go. Gone skis. Um, okay. Um, I just want to get it so that it's even. So I'm going to turn it around and just tilt it again. The other way, just so that I can get a more even amount of paint on the surface. if that's at all possible. I don't really want to go side to side. Stop that, Julie. Stop going side to side. Okay. That'll do. Got a little bit of white. That's not what I was going for at all, is it? Oh, never mind. Never mind. I just wasn't happy. 
happy with the, the amount of paint that was still left on there. Walk it back a little bit. How's that? I lost a lot of paint, didn't I? We didn't need to put all that extra paint on. I just thought that I would have some more white at the bottom, some more black at the top, but it just didn't work out that way. Where's my black stick? I just want to get rid of that little white blob there. Okay, that's gone. Okay, now let's get rid of these tape on the side and let the paint flow over. goes. So what do you think? Was it worth the hassle? Was it worth it? I don't know. I'm just going to have to put a little bit of a black through here. My white must have had a little bit of black in at some stage. Just going to touch that up. Go over the edges, fix my sides up. I will do my sides later, I won't bore you with it. So not much in the way of cells because the mix is really thick. But I'll give it a bit of a torch just to pop any air bubbles that there may be. I can see them making little white dots as they pop. Okay, so what do you think? Do you like that one better? Or do you like the previous one better, which is more grey? Let me know, pop it in the comments. Not that I'll do another one, but it's just good to know which one you prefer. In okay, case so I ever do another one. I'm going to take you down to show you these sides because they're just so pretty. Just run that under there to catch the drips. And I'll take you down to see the sides. Take my gloves off. off finger first then I can put them back on again but they don't always want to come off right I wonder how long this video is it seems to be very long what are we up to 33 minutes goodness all right Sides are pretty, aren't they? Look at that. Where it's gone over. So they're having the thicker mix. Let's have to fix up that corner later. This is the side that's gone over, and I'll just fix that up as well later on. And this is the other side. See how the lines have just gone straight over? Really pretty haven't muddied so as far as that goes I'm really happy it's the other side I will just fix those sides up off camera so I don't bore you too much so what do you think do you like that one 
Or do you prefer this little guy down here? What do you reckon? He's more grey, isn't he? Definitely more grey. What if I did this? But did two to one and poured into the cup the same way. <laughs> See, there's another one I want to try. There's so many different things I want to try. Okay, let's leave it there. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for your lovely comments and supports. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll, you won't miss a thing. All right. Bye for now.